So you bought a new iPad and want to sync your iPhone's data on it or you already have one and want to do the same or simply you just want to unsync them? Well, my friend, you are at the right place because in today's video, we will gonna talk about it. Hi Geeks, I'm Sameer and you guys are watching iGeeks Blog. So let's start with our first method and that is of course how you can sync your iPad with your iPhone using iCloud. So if you have already set it up your iPad, next thing you need to do is back up your iPhone to the iCloud. Once you have done that, now make sure you put the same Apple ID you have backed up your iPhone on your iPad. After that, all your apps, settings, data will be synced seamlessly and now let's see how you should do that. Step number one set up iCloud on your iPhone. So before we sync our iPhone's data on iPad, we need to upload each and everything of our iPhone to the iCloud. And let me show you how. Go to settings of your iPhone, now tap on your Apple ID banner and make sure you are signed in with the correct Apple ID. Once done, tap on iCloud and select show all and make sure that you toggle on each and every option present here. Also toggle on for the third party apps you want to sync on the iPad. So once you have done that, now let's move to step number two and that is you need to sign into the iCloud using the same Apple ID on iPad. To access iCloud data and files on your iPad, you need to go into the settings of your iPad and you need to make sure that you are running on the same Apple ID as your iPhone. As you can see, the Apple ID is different on iPad, hence we need to change that. So now that we have changed the Apple ID on our iPad and it is exactly same as on our iPhone. So now once you have made sure that your both devices are running on the same Apple ID, now tap on iCloud menu. Again, select show all and make sure you turn on each and every option present here. For example, like this. As far as the third party app goes, you need to download them from App Store so that the syncing is seamless. Now the syncing may take time to complete and well, it all depends on how much data is there. So make sure you have a stable internet connection as well as the battery on the iPad is fully charged. So now that the sync is complete, well, we have successfully synced our data on both the devices. But what if the new apps which you download on one particular device is not appearing on the other one? Well, there's a which you need to turn on and it is of course step 3 turn on automatic downloads go into the settings of your iPhone scroll down and select App Store and under automatic downloads make sure you toggle on app downloads this will download paid and free apps on the other devices which you have recently installed on your iPhone so that was method number one and let's move to method number two and of course that is how you can sync your iPhone to iPad during initial setup so the initial setup of iPad is due or you are ready to factory set your iPad for this method then my friends you are at the right place because I'm going to tell you that but before that make sure you like this video because I think we are doing some good work and if you are facing any issue regarding anything do let me know in the comment section. Now let's move forward. So first thing first you need to back up your iPhone on the iCloud so that during initial setup of iPad we can fetch that backup. So to back up your iPhone, you need to go into the settings, tap on your Apple ID aka banner. Now select iCloud. From here, select iCloud backup and now make sure that you toggle on backup this phone. So if you're not sure or do not remember when was the last time you backed up your iPhone, then my friends, I would recommend that you tap on backup now. So once your iPhone's backup is ready, now let's start setting up your iPad. So once we have backed up our iPhone, now next thing which we need to do is set up iPad. English, India, continue. And over here, you're gonna select set up with another device. Continue. All you need to do is just follow on-screen instructions until you get restore your apps and data page. On this page, you will gonna select from iCloud backup. Input your Apple ID and now the iPad will be looking for that backup we have created on our iPhone. Select on show all backups and as you can see, we have two backups and choose the most recent one or your preferred one. For example, I'm gonna select yesterday's one. That is quite recent in my opinion. And tap on OK. Continue and continue. Now you will have the same data and the content of your iPhone. So that was easy, right? Now let me tell you one more easier thing to do and that is unsync your iPad from your iPhone. And to do that, you need to go into the settings of your iPad, tap on your Apple ID banner or your name banner, scroll down and select sign out enter your apple id password and that's it 
your iPad won't be synced with your iPhone. Doing this will won't allow you to use Apple services on your iPad. So do this only if it is necessary. That is it guys. That's how you sync or unsync your iPad from your iPhone. If you like this video, make sure you press the like button. And if you're facing any problems, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. And one more thing, subscribe to us. Press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing troubleshooting helpful videos like this. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, Tara, see ya. Bye-bye.